hello guys welcome back in this react js video tutorial we are going to learn about the how we can fetch the data from the api to our project so uh, let's get started so first of all i want to show you that what we will achieve at the last of this video and after that uh, i'll show you everything within this very simple example and step by step so we will fetch the data from this api this is the Facebook's by default API uh, actually we can say that this is a sample API from you can use for the fast data or whatever you want and this is a code like you can see that Star Wars back of the future the matrix inception interstellar these are movies are the here so you can see that okay so within just change the key you will fetch the another data also so like you want to fetch the release dot here so just change here the release and you can see that with the we got the years of release here all right so i hope you understand we, what we will achieve at the last of this video for now let's delete this code and do it again okay so delete all the codes here all right so now you are able to see that we have all blank code here okay so now just create a first of all create a constructor here use the super to write the super to use the this keyword in the component this dot state and we use this dot state to collect the data from the api by default it could be null all right so now just use uh, create a function with the get data whatever you can put the name this is your choice okay so this okay so just let a variable data here once again and you can put this variable name also whatever you want uh, just use the fetch api this is the function who is able to hit the this api so just copy this data here all right and use dot then because uh, fetch function is always, always written the data in the form of promise so we have to handle the promise now so for that just use uh, response as a resp now just try to console dot log and resp all right and call this function to our constructor for a minute you you have to you can use the component will mount also but the construct is also fine if you want to just test your code Test your fetch code. All right. So just open your console and see that we got the response here. There is a lots of things you can see that header, redirect, redirect, status, tag, status, and URL and all. Okay, but you don't have the data because this is not the format of the JSON. So now we have to create it in the JSON format. So use the resp dot json function dot then and you can use your uh, mm -mm. you can use the resp here. So resp dot okay uh, just console now console dot log resp now just come back here and you can see that now we have all the data here descriptions movies titles everything you can see there okay so let's you want to print only movies so just use here dot just dot movies and now you have only oops Let's, let's check the keyword I think actually 
Maybe I put the wrong keyboard here. <laughs> Alright. So test. Yes. Now you can see that we got the five movies here, which is show here. So how we can show them on the screen now? So this is our next task. So let's see. This dot set state. Why we use the set state? to update our state data because our state is data and put the movies in this state now because we have to use it in the render part right we can remove this console for now okay just leave it here this is so check here everything is fine now okay so now just use the uh, first of all check there this dot state dot data is true or not that means it will check is it null or not if this is null uh, it will not use this code like uh, otherwise it will use the other condition okay so first condition is here but we will do this dot state dot data dot map and use the item and use your like s3 tag to show a little bit capital here you can use that uh, and this okay item dot title all right and in the, in case if data is still null then it will show you that data is fetching null. oops that's my bad copy this tag here and write here wait data is fetching okay so let's see so you can see that it will sh it will give you uh, is there any kind of issue is the s3 tag uh, no there is no issue okay so you can see that for a while it will show you the please wait data is fetching for a very little second because in this time uh, this will fetching the data from this function and whenever the state is true it will show you the title here so let's you want to show the title release here now so you can use the release here also okay so if you want to watch the both then you can you first of all you have to use the div tag to cover the both okay now you can use the release your title and release your both so you can see that the title and release your both so i'm not going to uh, work on the style here because this is a logical video for the api so i hope you understand the everything about the how we can fetch the data or not and guys if you are not able to, if you are not uh, familiar with the fetch function then read about it and this is very important because uh, after the delete post and the put api this is very helpful for you thanks guys thanks for watching this video